Well, it's looking like Christmas in here. Yeah, we are in full swing of the Christmas promotion that we always do. Tons As you see, people's of, already been busting balls. Tons of balls. Let's get in here. We've gave away a bunch of stuff already. It's all fisted. Very nice. Christmas time. Yeah, Leslie did all the decorating. I was sick. So she did all the decorating, so she gets all the credit, so. Huh? She did a good job. But That's pretty cool how y'all put them lights on that box. I thought she did really good. Yeah, was good. In fact, I think that helped sell it, because that box, we got a call uh, yesterday. They want us to put a soul sticker on it. They decided they want it, so. Heck yeah. It's going to get unloaded uh, next Tuesday. <laughs> so. One of your balls then fell off. Laying over yeah. here. Yeah. That's probably the grand prize winner right there. Nobody will think to grab it. You know, I saw that that was off, and I was going to put it back up there, but everybody's looking for the, the head, you know, the hidden ball that might have the grand prize in it. They're yeah. going on the tree and hard to reach places. So I was like, I'm just going to see how long that one actually sit there. <laughs> well, if I buy something today, that's the one I'm going to get. <laughs> right there. I have no idea what's in any of them. I mean, I know what prizes we got, but I don't know which ball has what. So that's probably the, the big one right there. <laughs> you never know. Well, but, so that's good. Y'all sold a roll cart this week. Yeah. It's hard to. I mean, we won't we won't completely count it as sold until we un, you know until we roll it off it. the back of the truck. But yeah. this guy, anytime he orders something, he takes it. So I have no doubt that it'll probably leave. But good enough. Uh, you know, they always say don't count them until they hatch. So we'll <laughs> we'll wait and see. But well, what new and fun stuff y'all got this week? The new tool we've been showing this week, uh, we've all seen the uh, wrench extenders and everything. Yeah. Uh, they've made one now that's supposed to be a multi-access, uh, shorter version of that. Okay. That way you can get in the tighter spots um, at different angles and stuff. So you can take, and put your extension and then bring your ratchet up out of the way or however you need to do it. But we did just shorten it up, made it a little different. Uh, you know, we used to say you couldn't you couldn't ex put pipes on stuff because it yeah. would break. Now we're making I see it. stuff to make them longer. But either way. Uh, That's a pretty part, cool little tool right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's new. It's not even on the catalog yet, so. Well, there's the part number. It'll fit well in somebody's toolbox anyway. That's pretty, pretty neat right there. That'll definitely come in handy on the way things are now with yeah. all this extra room they're giving everybody. That's it. Yeah, they, uh, they're they giving a whole bunch, ain't they? Yeah, it's making them bigger and bigger every year, ain't they? That's it. Which we've also had a lot of conversations. We got a guy that ordered the three-quarter uh, air impact through Maco, so we've mm. been showing it off to everybody. It ain't every day you have a three-quarter impact on here. It's about like a one-inch. Yeah. You know, people know they're out there, but not everybody has a need for one. So, what's the breakaway on that one? Do you know? I'm just gonna look on the box so I don't screw up and say something. Uh, I think it was like uh, it's a secret. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> secret. Yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a so strong. They don't even put it on the box. That's right. I thought they were always on the box. I guess I was wrong. No. We'll just go to the instructions. Let's see. I'm having a good time getting it out there. So, uh, breakaway 1890. 1890. So, he does a lot of repairs on heavy uh, dump trucks and stuff right. like that. So, had a lot of people looking at it and messing around with it. Like that's, I said, it's not something that everybody needs. Is that the only color it comes in? Is that's the only color I saw it in. Was that color there? Mm -hmm. We don't have a. We don't have a full line of those. It's just, you know, like I said. But they did They did away with the maroon and the new ones, didn't they? Yes, and they've also did away with the yellow. Yeah. So we don't, the high is, some call it high is green. It looked yellow to me, so that's what I called it. There you but go. Huh? That is what it is, I guess. Show sure enough. Well, you know I'm fixing to start a massive, well, it's already started, project, so. 
going to talk to you about some Milwaukee stuff that I need to uh, finish that. And hopefully I can get it all and be done with that and get this shop moved. That'll be a That's going to be the hard part of the whole thing. Time, yeah. I think I'm going to move my toolboxes with a rollback. I believe that's going to be the best option. To Probably the safest way is with a rollback. Done. I know I've seen some guys talk about they use a drop trailer where the trailer drops all the way down between the wheels all the way to the ground and you push it up on it. But I don't have nowhere around here to rent nothing like that, you know. So Yeah, I don't know where you would get one of those at. And, uh, you know, rollbacks usually have pretty good insurance and stuff too. So, oh, yeah. I mean... They need the good insurance to move that big white box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> that ain't no $500 deductible. Here you go, buddy. No, kind of no. That's, oh. uh, that's a whole lot of metal. Yeah. Uh, it's heavy until you load it. Man, yeah. I don't tell what that thing weighs. I've seen some pretty sketchy ways that people's move toolboxes, and it's lucky ain't nobody got hurt on some of them. Yeah. I, I have seen uh, the ones with, like, the steel lining. Or the little steel cage, I've seen them fall through that. I, I mean, I, you know, now obviously they weren't in the best shape, but yeah. uh, you take a fully loaded toolbox, which is most of the time how it is, mm -hmm. uh, they're heavy. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. So, the waiting on the concrete to cure for thirty days is going to be kind of sucky about moving the lift, but. Yeah. I think I'm just going to wait till everything's ready and then do it all at one time. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that I can go ahead and move. Like, obviously, I'm not going to need my AC machine for months. Like, stuff like that, you can go ahead and move. But right. it is what it is. So That's the fun part. The hurry up and wait. That's it. I'm looking forward to getting it done, though. Be nice. Be nice to be able to walk out your back door and be at your shop. Absolutely. That's <laughs> what I'm looking forward to. So... You won't ever get to leave work, but hey, that's okay that's too, true. I guess. That's right. Well, y'all got a bunch of balls left, and boys better kick it up. We still got a few more weeks. It actually, we started with a bunch of them uh, to start with. So last year we had to come back and uh, add more. So hopefully this year these will last us through the whole thing. But if not, we'll. We ain't going to let the contest in. We'll just keep going. There you go. There'll Make be a grand money. prize at the end of it. So, Make that money. Well, I guess we're going to turn this off, and I'll talk to you about all the junk I need and see what we can get done. So, All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. If y'all liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger click that button. Y'all have a great week. Weekend. See ya.